difficult, isn't it? Invasion of human privacy, but on the other hand, they've got to fight terrorism. I disagree with that completely. It's a complete invasion of privacy. Complete invasion. No, I think Facebook should stay with the public, you know, it's a personal thing. If that's all it's used for, yeah. But I've still got this Big Brother theory, so <laughs> I'm not convinced with it yet. It's, yeah, it's, it's good to have someone out there keeping an eye on it. I don't think it's really fair on people who are not involved in crime and that to be watched and monitored. I think that's wrong. I mean, I think that they shouldn't um, monitor, you know, Facebook and all that sort of thing. Definitely, I think the government should, should do it any way possible. For, you know, things like terrorism, stuff, important things, then, yeah, I completely understand. But for stupid things, you know, like, oh, I go out, I drink, I smoke, whatever, I don't think it's necessary. My friend was actually um, sacked by their employer because of their Facebook page. I don't know if it'll be entirely successful, but I definitely think it'll help in a lot of ways. It will help, but not enormously. I don't know if they'll be successful, but they'll be a hindrance, which is a good thing. Well, that's so hard to quantify, isn't it? I mean, how many people are going to have their own uh, privacy invaded before they decide whether it's successful or not? I have no idea whether they, they can choose that. I mean, they, they can pick up information from the telephone calls while you use Facebook. People say all sorts of things on Facebook, but it might not necessarily mean anything. Um, I suppose they'll be keeping an eye out, whether or not it's actually going to work or not, who knows. Um, but I mean, for instance, murders, people going missing and all of that side of things, it has helped. People have been able to log on and find out what's been going on, um, and last trackings, last sightings of whoever 